ओके यस सर सो व्हाट आई वांटेड टू गिव अ प्लेस वेट आई विल गो इज रॉक ये we were about to start ether okay okay let's start with a very uh, easy question that is your <clears throat> this Uh, Fia, will you be able to do this type of question? Sir, is it C? Hmm. No. No. Just wait a minute. Sunday, okay. any answer? Okay. Ah, uh, see, the correct answer is Aisha. Very good. That is D. You know, Fia. What is? What do we say? Ah, uh, the compound that is most difficult to protonate. That means H plus will be there. This is your proton. Proton, and protonate. That means it will attack. Protonation will take place. so this is also this is h plus that means having deficiency of electron and this is your nucleophile that means most uh, electron rich species so it will attack and it will form h3o positive h3o positive in the same way h plus can attack here in the same way h plus can attack here and in the same way h plus can attack here but which one will be the most difficult you know which one will be the most difficult the one we are talking about this phenyl phenol phenol why it is so because the this all lone pair that present on oxygen is present for donation of electron but this lone pair which is present on phenol is busy in resonance is busy in resonance yes, since it is busy yes, in uh, resonance so it want uh, it will uh, it doesn't want to donate its electron because of resonance it is more stable that's why only so very simple question it is that question number 50 
Oh no, fear, it's uh, wrong. Think about it. HI, you are going to react with. You are going to break the bond that you have done correctly. But with both of them, iodine will not come. With one of them, since you have this one, HI, that means H plus and I minus. With one of them, OH will, uh, H will go. And with one of them, iodine will go. Just wait a minute. Okay, let me check it again. Oh, you did this. See. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, it is in excess of iodine. So the reaction will further go. So be careful while solving it. Any answer from you, um, Aisha? Check it again. Again, further it will react unless or until OH is removed. P are you getting my point since it is in excess HI? You got that correct. Okay, but the part, this part, I'm going to give you hints. You got this. So you need to again react with HI. So now it is correct for you. Aisha, are you done with this? Okay, I'm going to show you. First of all, if you have this CH3, CH2, CH2, O, oh, CCH3, all thrice. Okay, so what will happen? This is your tertiary. This is your three degree, this side. So this will be converted into alkyl halide. So this will have positive and this will have negative sign and you are going to react this with HI. This will have negative and this will have positive. So you know what will happen. This negative will be going with this and you will be getting, uh, yeah, you will be getting CH3 whole thrice CI tertiary alkyl halide and with this you know that this will go and it will be CH3, CH2, CH2OH but we have HI in excess so this is alcohol again going to react with HI. Now what you need to do this is negative, this is positive, this is negative, this is positive and you are going to react this with this. So what will be your final product that is your primary alkyl iodide and tertiary alkyl iodide so the answer is b are you getting my point <laughs> i saw yeah. okay so fia you have given uh, this question for 52 have you written a for 52 yes sir okay uh, just cross take it. I don't think it is on uh, right. Mm, very good, Aisha. So see if it's very easy. Hitting of phenyl methyl. Phenyl methyl means what? It, it is something. So else. Uh, the it will go and attach with the third alpha carbon, right? Like third degree alpha carbon. Uh, there is no third degree, no. This is your phenyl methyl ether. This is your phenyl. This is your methyl and this is your ether. This is a common name where a student usually get stuck. You can also call it methoxybenzene in IUPAC name, nomenclature, methoxybenzene. 
so when you are going to react this you know that this is negative this is positive and this is positive and this is negative so this positive will go here and you will get what phenol yes or no yes sir so that's why the answer is your phenol <clears throat> okay very good so i'm going to give you another question which is based upon mechanism basically first i'm going to give you three option only i'll give you the fourth option as well the fourth option is this This is the fourth option you can see. <clears throat> so there is a reaction like this. <clears throat> Identify a first you need to do the reaction and the type of reaction, whether it is elimination addition, same sign substitution. And substitution reaction. Very simple it is. Have you heard of uh, intermediate? How many intermediate you know? How many types of intermediate you know, like carbocation? How many types of intermediate you know? Can you tell me, Fia, Aisha, and uh, Fia and Aisha, please do let me know. Sir, I just uh, remember only carbocation, sir. I don't remember. Okay. Do you uh, have you uh, ever heard car uh, free radical? Yes, sir. Have you ever heard carbonion? Carbonion. Yes, sir. Have yes, you heard sir. of nitrine? No, sir. Carbene. Yes, sir. Carbene, okay. Benzene. Benzene, you know that. Benzene, do you know that benzene? No, sir. Aisha, yes, what sir. about you? It's alkyne like that. Uh, can you tell me the structure of benzene? What it will be, cyclic or acyclic? The cyclic. Okay, cyclic. Can you tell me the formula? chemical formula of benzene like benzene you know that c6h6 right yes sir what is the formula for benzene okay no problem i'll tell you aisha okay so will you be able to do it here or i should explain it or you want to try it I'll try, sir. Take care. Take your time. Do it.
Aisha, any answer? So both of you are saying that it is answer. Aisha, I asked some question about how many intermediate do you know? It's very important for me to know how many intermediate do you know? Basically, in NEAT, uh, carbocation and free radical is very good, like uh, free radical carbon, and everyone knows that. But there are some questions where you will make a difference with other students because that intermediate is very important. If it will be asked, then <clears throat> you should know it. So, carbocation. Okay. See here, the reaction is about uh, benzene. We will see how the reaction proceed. So I'm going to show you the reaction. Okay. So see, we have. Uh, uh, let me see the pro reactant. OCS. Okay. So see, this is your scenario. This is your OCH3, bromine is there at meta position, right? Now you are going to react with NaNH2 was there, right? Okay, uh, please do, Lernivio is inviting you to join room one. Everyone is here. Okay, so we have NaNH2. NaNH2, that means what? NH2 minus, can I write? Because this has positive charge. Now, there is a strong nucleophile that is nh2 minus and please do write this after uh, i'm done explaining after i'm done explaining you are going to write it okay because here another uh, benzene will come into play very important now see there is a hydrogen everyone knows that now what will happen this nh2 will be attacking on this hydrogen will be attacking on this hydrogen and this hydrogen will go with nh2 Basically, in the uh, in the form of H plus, it will go out. So what we will have here, here, try to concentrate. We have this part already. There is OCH3. Now you know that this hydrogen goes in the form of H plus. So there will be negative charge. Yes or no? Tell me. Now this negative charge will come and form a weak pi bond. Weak pi bond. Now you can see weak pi bond, how it will form. Now this carbon already making four bond. You can see one, two, three, four. So it is not possible for carbon to make five bond, okay? So this BR have to eliminate from here, go from here. So now this is double bond, it becomes triple bond and then there will be OCH3. And this is your benzene. This is what benzene we can call it. This pi bond, the second pi bond that it form is very very weak okay so this part is called your benzene after this two possibility is there two possibility is there i'm going to show you just wait a minute two possibility is there uh, should i write it again no i can use this Okay, 
now you can see there are two possibility how two possibility is there nh2 minus again will come into play now it can attack at that this position or it can attack at this position both position it can attack along double uh, triple bond and this pi bond that form second pi bond uh, benzene to benzene that is very weak <clears throat> so we have two possibility the first possibility is that again this will be the scenario this is an h2 minus and double bond double bond double bond och3 is as it is and then nitrogen nitrogen <coughs> comes out to be what n2h and becomes n2h and the next one is this next one is this och3 and this is your basically nh2 this is not nh2 nh2 and this will be your nh2 again just wait a minute let me represent it correctly okay so what i did is there is an again nh2 come into play and it can attack here this carbon already making four bonds so one of the bonds should be broken so either if nh2 is going to attack on this negative charge will come here if nh2 is going to attack at this negative charge will be here so if it attacks on this so there there is negative charge and if it will attack on this so there will be negative charge there will be negative charge now what will happen very simple it is now this into which will come into play and it will become like this and h2 and here it is it is your och3 this is less stable because less stable because there will be uh a steric hindrance a steric hindrance and there this is more stable because uh, it is far away from each other a steric hindrance no steric hindrance less repulsion that's why this is more stable <clears throat> and you can see what type of uh, reaction this is very simple it is you can see what we did is substitution what we did is substitution br was there initially and what we did after the mechanism, you can see NH2 just replaced that. So that's why it is substitution. So B is, uh, D is the correct answer. Please do write it. Very important mechanism it is. Can you show the question? Mm, this is the question. Yes, sir. Can you scroll down? Sir, can you scroll more down? Is it enough? Yes, sir.
Are you done with this? Yeah. Pia? Yes, sir. Okay, please do this. Hmm. Uh, you are not ready, but Very good, I Sophia. Any answer to see how it is easy it is? Alcohol reacting with NaOH, you will get this phenox, uh, not phenoxide, alkoxide, and reacting with methyl iodide. So you will get this. So what it is? It is simple. Williams. Sir, your voice is very low. Am I audible clearly? Both of you. Am I audible clearly? Mm -hmm. No, sir, your voice is very low. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Aisha, am I audible clearly? Is my voice low? No, sir, it's fine. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Fia, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. Am I audible clearly? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> oh, Dore. Sir, actually, Itar and Getterman coach reaction are from the other chapter, right? Oh, Ether and Getterman coach. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But uh, if you uh, recognize this reaction, it is not uh, anything 
to do with this reaction. So this, these are just the name. Gatterman Quist reaction you will study for the preparation of carbonyl compound and a tart reaction as well. That is aldehyde. So, sir, is it A? Oh no, not at all. Have you any? Uh, no, not at all. Williamson continuous in a, a thermification process. Have you studied this process? No. Williamson synthesis is good. This is the same thing. See, this is your alkyl alkoxide reacting with alkyl halide. This is your alkyl alkoxide reacting with alkyl halide. This is what Williamson synthesis. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Only here it prepared this alkoxide from alcohol. And here it is already alkoxide. Okay, so you have to recognize all of this. Uh, please do this 56, which is very easy.
Any answer? Very good, Aisha. So, yeah, what about you? Very good, both of you. Please do this as well. Any answer, both of you?
Oh, it's wrong. <clears throat> Who is this? Uh, yes, Aisha, you are wrong. And uh, <clears throat> Pia, you are also wrong about question number 58. <clears throat> Very easy it is. See, what happens here is in the reaction this, which of the following compounds will be formed? Very simple it is. Uh, this is the scenario. So this will have negative, this will have positive. Okay, so here is like this. No, uh, you know that, uh, how can you say that D? Okay, D is there. And uh, you told me that, just wait a minute, Aisha, A is there. Aisha, how, how can it be? Okay, got it where you have confused. So very simple it is, what you need to do, very simple. Mm, this is negative, sorry, this is positive, this is negative, okay? So what will happen? This positive will go with this, so you will get this alcohol and this positive will go with this. So you will get this. So simple, the answer is C, not your or this. Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. So basically, it will depend upon the nature of the alkyl group. So that's why. Generally, with lower degree, it will form alkyl iod, alkyl halide. So it will be like this. Is that clear, both of you, Aisha? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, please do this. Unsymmetrical alkene, always remember the product is decided by the nature of alkyl group. Very important to note. Fia, uh, please do write the question number as well. I got too confused. Is it for 59? Yes, sir. Uh, it's wrong. So see, very simple it is. If you're going to see the answer will be this. <clears throat> As I told you, this will be positive and this will be negative. In the same way, this will be negative. This will be positive. SN2 reaction will be followed. So this will go with this. So you will get CH3I and this will be <clears throat> alcohol. Are you getting my point? Yes, into so magnesium. It will be um. Yes, yes. Yes, into uh, magnesium. The halogen will be attached to the third degree alpha carbon, right? 
<laughs> see SN2 mechanism will be followed in SN2 you know that what will happen 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree right yes sir so it is just like that but, Not uh, uh, but there is a rule right if it is like unsymmetrical ether will be using 3 degree alpha carbon will be attached to the halogen which you were talking about no no uh, wait a minute Unsymmetrical alpha carbon. Yeah, so uh, what will happen? There will be positive. Oh, okay, you took this basically. Wait a minute. So you took positive this and negative this, right? So that's why you uh, HIHI. So this will go with this. So you will get CH3OH and this, right? Yes, sir. You no, basically in uh, this Williamson synthesis, if you are going to see the uh, reaction, <clears throat> okay, so don't get confused. This is very important to note that with, uh, it depends upon the nature of alkyl group. That means uh, the reaction, whatever we did today, it is going only with the lesser degree. In the previous question, we did the same. Okay, so it depends upon the, you can think of like, uh, what do we say, SN2 in which carbocation formation does not take place. Are you getting my point? Yes. Sir. If, we, if you are a little bit confused, you will just go through your notes. It will be all clear. If it will not in the next class, I will uh, show you the mechanism. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. Don't worry. So just go through the that and then again you can ask me. Question number 60. Very easy it is. Aisha, Aisha, why are you silent today? So quiet. Aisha, am I audible? Yes. Okay, no answer today. Very less answer. You haven't revised. Okay, please do revise this. Uh, what do you say? Ether. It looks uh, very easy and a small it is. You should go through it. 